I want to give you three three reasons why you should never cut corners when you're doing jobs for your landscaping customers. All right, let's get started. Number one, first of all, you can't sleep at night. I have had employees work for me. They're tired. It's hot out, or it's it's starting to rain. And they're like, "Well, let's just throw that thing down real quick." And and I was, uh, 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 "No, let's not do that." Come on, come on, come on. And I've acquiesced before and be like, let's say the grade was off or a little something. And I say, yeah, that's not even a big deal. I'm, I'm over complexifying it in my head. No one's ever gonna see this. And it, that, that might totally be the truth. It's the smallest thing. It's not something structural that's gonna affect anything else. It's just a little something that's off. Well, how you do anything is how you do everything. I literally went home that night and I'm laying in bed, I can't sleep two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. We come back to the job site the next day. I'm like, rip that apart. We're redoing that. They're like, what? I'm like, I couldn't sleep last night. We have to fix that, right? And there is a distinction between something that is, like if, if you are serving perfection and you're promising perfection and articulating that and expressing that to the customers, then you're gonna have to charge for that because there are customers who want that type of white glove service, right? Nobody's expecting you to be perfect. That's perfection doesn't exist. And it could be drive you to insanity, but you can do a great job without being perfect and still charge a great price and the customers will be really happy. My friend Joshua Latimer calls it the technical perfection deception. You're not cutting corners at all, but you can't make stuff 100% perfect. Does this make sense? And you communicate that with your customers. If you have lower prices, Communicate with your customers, hey, we can't do a perfect job like someone that's charging you literally w double. We're going to do a good job, but we can't make everything perfect or I'll have to charge you more. So you get what I'm saying? You come to reality and you have the conversation. But if you cut corners and you're charging the money as if you were doing it the top tier, you just can't sleep at night. Why? Because number two, which I would, I could never do that. I cut corners in my own life, like, um, I don't know, my wife was pulling all the stuff out of the garden and I didn't know she was going to do it that hour and that day. And so there's a whole bunch of tomato plants on the side of the garden that sat there for, I think they sat there for a day and a half, two days until Monday morning and I threw them all in my dump trailer and got rid of them. So I cut a corner there. Um, I've been so busy, I skipped weed whipping my own lawn and did it the opposite weeks when I was really busy I cut corners but when it comes to customers I don't cut corners and that makes me think we're on a job right now no no on the garden but the grade looked a little off and then I looked at it from a different angle and it was good and now I know I can have the discernment of that my own OCD oh that's what it was my guy had piled the mulch too high in the garden bed and I was looking at it thinking the grade was off and I was like, nope, we got to remove all that and fix it. And then I looked and I, I pushed the, 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 the mound of mulch down. It was like pyramid and then it was flat. I was like, okay, that's in my mind. But even as I talk about it right now, it's bugging me. So that's how I know I'm on the right track and I still feel like it's not good enough. <sighs> I need to take a breath, bro. All right, two. <laughs> Um, and this is just softscape, landscape, trimming stuff. Imagine if you want to get into hardscape patios and big construction where it requires building and digging a proper foundation and having proper drainage. If you don't know what you're doing and you don't do things in the correct order and you cut corners, it's going to cost you your business. And number two, it would dishonor yourself and the customer. You're dishonoring customers if you're cutting corners. You should not do that. Um, and you do this to yourself. So if your price is too low where you feel so rushed like you have to cut corners, right? <laughs> then you did it to yourself because you didn't negotiate or at least tell the customer because the price is so low you can't do a perfect job. You can't sit there and clean up every little tiny individual thing, right? So as long as you're clear with the customer, that's fine. But if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, and they'll just call you back. There's only so many times you can get away with that before they're calling back and it's hurting your whole business. So you do it to yourself. But um, three, it means the reason you should not cut corners, it means 
that you're letting fear get in the way of respecting yourself. And the way that I perceive respect is love, loving yourself. To me, it's a huge honor to go in uh, on customers' properties and for them to take their hard-earned money and pay you to do a job, right? That's, that's a big deal. So you should do it to the best of your ability, communicate, and do everything in order because this has nothing to do with you. You should have a servant's heart, right? I know that I joke around in my videos and I talk about nitpicky customers and I crack jokes, but in my actual business, I, I promise you, and we've got the positive reviews to, to, to um, prove it, I really, really care about my customers and I have respect and humility with them and we do a, a, a great job to the best of my ability and I don't leave stones unturned and I don't cut corners and I do a really, really good job. And there was a time, uh, it was a couple winters years ago, we were doing this, uh, I was burned out, exhausted, end of the season, I wanted it to be done. And um, even though we did the whole job and it was exactly what the customer wanted, my entire body language was lazy, like I didn't give a crap, and I was just like trying to get through this job, and it showed. Anybody looking at me from the outside would have said that this guy doesn't care. This guy is careless and lazy. And so I've had to work on um, my own body language, and it's called like the art of the show. Does that make sense? So anyways, that's three reasons why you won't be able to sleep at night. You're dishonoring yourself and the customer. It's in dishonor. And three, you're letting fear get in the way of respecting yourself. So if you take the time, charge a little bit more, slow down a little bit, and make sure you do a good job and do things in order, then what's going to happen is you're going to watch your business prosper. And it's going to prosper really well. And you're going to have high self-esteem. You're going to respect yourself. It's going to show in your body language, and you're going to start landing bigger jobs at higher ticket prices. And... It's really going to work out well for you. Don't fall into the temptation to cut corners.